okay, we've been invited for training by another club and I think the court pretty much knows my situation. Uh, yesterday he was like, um, I talked to him last night, he speaks very good English uh, here within Pembroke and uh, he said, yeah, you can come, but we have enough wingers and I was like, well, I'm a center forward. I can play center forward and he said, okay, no problem. So, uh, hope this one turns out differently. Like, nothing dodgy, but if anything dodgy happens as well, we expect that. So yeah, we're gonna train right now with them. Head into training, one of my friends is gonna drop me there. He's a player for Mortagua, so he's just gonna drop me there and then he proceeds to his training. And then we see from there. Okay. We have a game tomorrow, so let's see what happens. But let's hope this is gonna be a bit different, like it's not gonna be snaky. So yeah, let's hope maybe it's just my performance that will let me down. And uh, even yesterday when I called him, he's, he's just like, well, what about the transfer transfer? Who's going to pay? And I'm like, well, we can figure that out. The first thing is they have to like me. If they like me, then we can sit and talk about that. So, but yeah, guys, that's the thing. So, let's go. Okay, guys. So, we finally back home yesterday after spending some good time in Quimbra. So what happened yesterday was I arrived to the club. Obviously, they allowed me to train. The manager was super, super nice, very nice guy. He speaks very good English. And uh, he just welcomed me. He, he showed so much interest in trying to see me and all this stuff. But since they were having a game today, so the training was just mostly tactical and all these kind of things that they were going to do in the game. Uh, and then plays uh, not not small side game but just yeah a bit of small side game. I was in. I did very good. And after that, um, after the training, he pulled me aside obviously, and I was like, okay, Sunny, see you on Monday, which is the uh, training. And I was like, coach, I mean, I I thought I would uh, you let me play uh, the game, and he's like, yeah, well, it's okay, you can come, and then you I'll give you some. Uh, 10 minutes and I negotiated it to 20 minutes and then he said okay so supposedly I was supposed to play 10 minutes but when I negotiated it to 20 minutes he said cool so I went to the dressing room dressed up came back and I think the management uh, he consulted the management obviously and the management told him no he cannot play because he doesn't have insurance you obviously know it I mean it's a big thing out here that when the player gets injured who is going to take care of uh, his um, who is who's answerable for that? So uh, the management, I think, told him, no, he cannot. So I kind of tried to negotiate. He's like, man, this is not coming from me. I already agreed I would want you to play, but it's not coming from me. But what you can do is come back on Monday. We train and we have a game on Wednesday. So on Wednesday, 100%, I'm going to give you some minutes. You're going to play. So I'm like, cool. So I had to come back home. And now I'm going to be here for until Sunday night or maybe Monday morning. I'll again cut the bus to go back to Quimbra and we go trial again. Uh, the club is in Campeonato Ford League as well. And uh, I got it I got it through one of the players that was uh, that knows the coach. Because one of the players I was with in Mortagua, he gave me the contact. And he actually even spoke to the coach. He was like, coach, there's this, Sammy, this is this. And he put his word for me. And... Yeah, that's what happened. And also the coach was very nice. He's like, uh, what are the conditions that you need to stay here? And if you cannot stay here, I can try to help you, like, uh, push you somewhere else where you could probably, like, uh, be able to play. In. So it was a very good sign. It was a very positive thing. So that's the current situation we're in. Uh, my knees not so good at the moment. But uh, today I'm not training. I'm just going to rest. But on Sunday, I'm going to train and then prepare for uh, another training on Monday. So today I'm gonna just go to Lisbon, uh, sort out a few things that I need to sort, and then um, that should be it. So it's very, it's been very, un, uh, it's very interesting somewhat, because honestly I'm enjoying it. I know it's, it's not painting out the way I want it, but I don't have any expectations for that. So that's what happened. How uh, on the next video guys I'm gonna just talk to you guys about which is supposed to drop after this video. I'm gonna talk to you guys about 
Remember when with the first day we were going to Kimbra, we got a message from our known number and also all those kind of things. Yeah, you guys are gonna find out what happened and all this. I don't want to speak too much about it and but all that message and even more information is gonna come up. Very interesting information about <coughs> Don't tell anybody. It's come back next. See you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, uh, another thing is, guys, I've not been putting uh, the intros and the outros on the video purposely because uh, the the music on those intro and the outro has a copyright uh, ban or something. I don't know. So they always like let me know that oh, there's a copyright claim on the video, so I don't want to use that. Uh, maybe if somebody can get me that and give me music that has no copyright. I then I can actually use it. I, I can use because I think it's interesting to have an intro and outro. So that's why I've been putting them. So if you guys can get me in that copyright music, that will not give you problems because we are on the road to monetization right now. Then we should be good. So, peace.